So tonight, the child victim of a deadly crash in Chautauqua County yesterday has been identified by police as seven year old Emmeline Wilcox of Casadega. Our Dave McKinley visited there today and has more about the crash and the impact this tragedy has had on the community there. The accident which claimed the little girl's life occurred here along Route 60 in the town of Pomfret. She is being remembered and mourned today, 14 miles to the south of here where she attended school. Seven-year-old Emmeline Wilcox was a first grader at Sinclairville Elementary School. That's at the Casadega Valley District, where Chuck Leichner has been superintendent for six years. I don't imagine that any amount of training in superintendent school fully prepares you for something like this. No, you're absolutely right. We talked uh, this morning with our crisis management team about how uh, no matter what you've re read, uh, you can't be prepared for something like this. So you lean on experience, you lean on relationships, and uh, we've been through this, unfortunately, before, and, and uh, you just move forward. It was about 4 o'clock Monday afternoon, according to state police, when Emmeline and her mother were northbound on Route 60 in Pomfret when her mom had either slowed or stopped to make a left-hand turn into a parking lot when they were rear-ended by another car, which pushed their vehicle, seen in this subsequent photo, into the path of a tractor trailer. Both were rushed to nearby Brooks Memorial Hospital in Dunkirk, where Emmeline succumbed to her injuries. Coming up at six, the superintendent of schools remembers a little girl who was as beautiful a child as that picture of her depicted. In Pomfret, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News. Mm, such a tragedy yeah, for horrible. that whole community, especially her family. Mm -hmm.